the Hello everybody, it's Joe, aka Nerdfist, and uh, we're back again today playing Stardew Valley, and uh, we got a letter. How do I get it? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm still getting used to con the, the controls. Okay, this is uh, okay. This is the the guy from the general store telling us about the uh, the new backpack. The new backpack is in. So uh, we've got two letters. Uh, just back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you, Willie. So I believe that's how we get the uh, the fishing pole. And uh, so what we need to do today is uh, get our parsnips uh, planted. I thought it was supposed to rain, didn't it? <laughs> say in the in the last when we checked the uh, the weather report in the last video, didn't it say it was supposed to rain all day today? So I don't know why it's not raining. Maybe because we did it late at night, it's the weather report for the next day. Maybe that's it. So uh, I need to clean out some of these some of these rocks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 I'm still getting used to the controls. It's a little weird playing with a playing with a controller because I, I get so used to playing with a mouse and keyboard, but uh, it's a lot harder to plant stuff too. It's kind of kind of wonky. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get used to it, but um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know what what it is about games like this that I like so much. It's the it's the I don't want to say it's the mundane nature because that's <laughs> that's the wrong word, and uh, but I think it's the the management element, and I think that's I think that's kind of something that a lot of people don't have in their life. A, a lot of times, like not that people don't have stuff going on and you know have to you know manage their time and you know have kids or whatever, but there's something to just planning little tasks and. You know, that's what I think about, like, when I was a kid, I used to like to play with those those Lego, uh, like, Mindstorm, I think that's what it was called, those, like, robotic Lego kits, and uh, it was just cool to, you know, like, program and watch, you know, that little program get carried out, and I think that's, I think that's what I like about, you know, these types of games, and, you know, like, City Builder games is a big one. It's just fun to, to set something up and, uh, you know, see how it goes. Of course, you know, this game has a lot more <laughs> involved <laughs> like you're constantly having to you know water plants and stuff like that but it's you're constantly moving towards a goal I guess whereas you know it kind of feels like you're moving towards you know building your farm to be more efficient you know having to do less work uh, you know making more money and you know I guess it's kind of a <laughs> almost a life simulator in a weird way not quite you know like the sims but you know it's all about you know designing something that works better and constantly improving and i think that's what kind of what i like about it and i think that's why games like this are popular i don't know what do i know i'm not a games games designer even though i do have an idea for a game but uh i'm not gonna tell you about it because i don't want <laughs> i don't want somebody to steal it uh I've always, I've always wanted to learn how to make games. Uh, it's something I wish I would have done, try to do more when I was younger, got in, more into coding and stuff like that. I just brought up Lego Monstorm, which is, it's a, you know, a very simplified uh, version, even though it can get like real crazy intense and complicated, but I would like to, there's a, there's a, there's a, a, a program called, uh, is it called game salad or so I think that's what it's called game salad and uh, it's, it's supposed to help you uh, make games it's kind of decoded like a weird uh, almost maybe maybe it's similar to project spark which is I know, I know is for uh, also for Xbox one I've never used it uh, <laughs> I downloaded it wanting to use it but uh, I just never did and uh, Let's go in here. We're gonna see if we can meet some people. I don't see anybody. I forget how many people we uh, we still need to meet, but um, yeah, I uh, get these worms. Uh, <laughs> we got some clay. We're gonna need clay to uh, up upgrade our uh, uh, our buildings. So 
Get out of my way, bird. Coming through. Ah, <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> get stuck by the bushes. And, uh, oh, here's a, uh, what is this? I'm full up. Let's get rid of this, uh, get rid of a coal. Which I need coal, but I want to pick this up. Wild horseradish. And, um, but yeah, I've always been meaning to play with Project Spark, but I just never did. We got some flowers, too. Uh, I think this, uh, this flower, the horseradish and the, the daisies, is that what it is? Daffodil, daisy, something like that. I think that's, uh, everything we need to, to, uh, finish the, the foraging bundle, I think is what it's called. Of course, we haven't even unlocked the, the, uh, the, <laughs> the town, uh, the community center yet. So, hey, it's Lee. Hey, Lee. And, uh, I, th I think she's a school teacher. I think she teaches the kids. I don't think there's a school, but I think she teaches the kids. Hello, cows. Some cows up there. <laughs> so how many more people do we need to meet? I know there's, uh, uh, I know there's Willie. And I think there's another guy that actually lives on the beach with Willie. I think. Pretty sure, because I think there's a cabin. Unless it's Willie's cabin. Oh. Here's Willie. Smoking his... Smoking the pipe. His pip. <laughs> Ahoy! <laughs> God, I love that word. You hardly ever get to use it unless you're on, like, a boat or something. Ahoy there, son. I heard there was a newcomer in town. Oh. I'm still trying to unwind. <laughs> Got a big haul. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Oh, so he's going to give us his old rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. Thanks, Willie. You bastard. Uh, <laughs> it's important to me that fishing stays alive. Maybe you'll buy something from the shop. Dee -dee -dee -dee. You received a bamboo fishing pole and we still don't have room. What can we throw away? Uh... The rocks? Let's throw away the rocks. Get a get a fishing pole. So we can do some fishing. Oh. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now. <laughs> Come by if you need supplies. So I think the, the bamboo fishing pole. I don't think you can put bait on it or anything. I think it's just a basic uh, fishing pole, but you can, uh, ow, God, <laughs> pop my chair. <laughs> uh, but the, the, there's other fishing poles that we can get that we can put, uh, bait on or, uh, bobbers and stuff like that. He's smoking his pipe. <laughs> so there's, uh, his little fish shack. Ooh, seagull. And, uh, let's see if we can, ooh. There we go. Got a book. Do I have to throw something away to pick up the book? I probably didn't need to do that. I think we could have picked it up without... <laughs> Got some seashells. And uh, what is this? This is a uh, oyster. And uh, the bridge is out. 300 pieces of wood. I could fix this. Okay. Only Elliot's friends. Oh, so I guess Elliot lives in that house. <laughs> and I guess the other guy just lives in his lives in his shop, I guess. So let's go over here. And uh, here's some kids down here. How you doing, kids? Oh, a stranger. <laughs> Shouldn't talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Jass? Is that how you pronounce her name? J-A-S? Jass. Penny. Penny's the teacher. Who's Lee? <laughs> what does Lee do? Does she have a job? Is she unemployed? Oh. An old Gunther. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. I kind of like Gunther's style. He kind of... For some reason, it reminds me of Prince. <laughs> I don't know why. 
But I guess it's just because he seems so fancy in his, in his blue suit and his hat. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new arf artifacts or minerals to the museum? We can make a brown groundbreaking discovery together. <laughs> I might come across interesting items to send your way. Yeah, so we have to give him stuff we find. Uh, and there's all kinds of stuff, as I, if I remember. There's there's minerals that you get from uh, going going mining, getting stuff in the mine, which uh, I think is still close to us because uh, we just started. But um, read this book. Animals are very sensitive. They like to be pet every day and prefer to eat grass outdoors than dry hay. They don't like outdoor in the rain, though. Okay. That's animals again. Use fertilizer, fertilizer to improve the quality. Okay. Fruit trees, crops will die. At the end. Yes, that's what I said last time. <laughs> the, the, the crops will die. So all that stuff I know. Donate to the museum. Let's uh, get our, our ancient seed and uh, put it right here. Got a new reward. I wonder if he'll, he'll probably just give us money or something. I get, oh. Okay, you got a seed recipe and ancient seeds. I don't know what it'll grow, but uh, I guess we learned that recipe. So we got some seeds now, some ancient seeds. I guess we just got one. That's not very good. Should at least <laughs> should at least give me a pack of them. Uh, there's a kid down there near that bush. Cultivate. Okay, parsnips. We got our parsnips planted back at the farm. And uh, hello. Oh hi. <laughs> good to see you again. Okay, we already met him. And uh, who's this? It's Elliot. Good lord. Look at his... <laughs> He's got some majestic hair, doesn't he? Oh my god. Look at him. I'm starting to question my, my sexuality. Oh. <laughs> it's like Fabio. Such a, a, a beautiful man. The graveyard. Not too many people have died in, in Stardew Valley. <laughs> There's only like four graves. And... Um, Star Drop Saloon. Can we talk to... Hello? Can I talk to him? <laughs> Here's the arcade over here. And, uh... We might, we'll play a game later. There actually is a game that you can, uh... I, I believe if you beat it, you get a uh, achievement. So, uh... But I'm not gonna play it right now. We got too much to do down on the farm. And, uh... There's that old lady. <laughs> hey, old lady. <laughs> There's uh, Emily. I thought it was uh, Caroline for a minute. But it's Emily. Something to do in the evening. Stop by. Okay, so she works. She works with. Uh, I guess his name's Gus. She works with Gus down at the down at the pub. And uh, we don't really have any room for any of this anyway. So I don't know what we're. Can't really get rid of. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could <laughs> to get some more parsnips. But uh, we can only get a few, and uh, but I think that's enough to uh, get a few more. Uh, I think that's enough to f to fill out how many spots we have left. Because uh, I like to do I like to do well not all the time, but I kind of like to do the, like nine by or like three by three. Uh, so you have nine in a uh, you know a square block, and uh, that makes it kind of easy. And then when we uh, unlock, ooh, look at all this good stuff up here. Another leak, inventory full, won't stack. Must be a uh, uh, a better value <laughs> leak, <laughs> a little star next to it. But um, so. But yeah, for the most part, I like to let's. What do we What do we want to sell? We sell one of these, I guess. 
sell the leak. And um, plant the rest of these paw snips. And uh, those dandelions? Dandelions. Okay, what are the other ones? They oysters, wild horseradish. You need to save that in here. Because I will need that for when we get the for when we get the <laughs> for when we get the community center up and running. I forget how you open it. I don't know if it's just a certain number of days have to pass or if there's actually something I have to do on my farm. Let's get rid of this uh, this dandelion. Um, or if there's something. Ooh, squirrel going up the tree. <laughs> so I don't. I can't remember if there's something we have to do to unlock it or if it just unlocks on its own. So. I mean, I guess we'll find out here in the next, uh, you know, couple days, I guess. But um, we'll get rid of this one, too. And uh, let's get the rest of these uh, parsnips uh, planted. This is so... God, it's so frustrating trying to plant this. I'm still trying to get used to it. It's so much easier with the mouse. You just, you know, click over it and everything gets, you know, planted in like two seconds. You feel sluggish. Uh-oh. What happened? Oh. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I wasn't paying attention. Um, I was going to say maybe we can eat one of these, but I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's go to sleep. And uh, that'll, uh, that'll be enough for today, I think. And... Uh, We'll stop it right here. So anyways, guys, I hope you like this, this series we're doing. And, um, oh, the heck was that? <laughs> anyways, guys, see you on the next show. Bye.